Hi, hey, how's it going? Good. How you doing, Oaks? Nice to meet you. All right, nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, thanks for joining me, and congratulations on Adam the First. Thank you, thank you. Um, um, pardon the the background. Sorry, I just uh, I'm I'm in college, so this is best I can find. That resembles the dorm room of mine when I was in college. So you're all good. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> where uh, where do you go to school? I am at Syracuse University. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah. So I, Syracuse, New York. Yeah, I I I almost went there. It was between uh, BU and Syracuse. I ended up going to BU. Gotcha. Uh, but lo I love the looks of Syracuse. I have friends who went there. They loved it. Yeah, no, I mean, it's it's definitely fun. It's a cool place. Either way, it's cold, Boston or <laughs> Syracuse. But Syracuse is apparently the snowiest city in the entirety of the United States. So that's pretty oh. crazy. Oh, wow. I didn't know that was a statistic. It's cold and rainy here in Los Angeles, so you're not missing much. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so yeah, thanks for joining me. And uh, yeah, your starring role here. I, I loved your character. You know, you're definitely rooting for uh, your Adam the whole time. And, uh, yeah, it's a sweet story. I was curious, you know, going back to square one, uh, what was it about, you know, this movie or this, uh, this character that first sort of drew you to it? I mean, I, um, I never, I didn't go through like a, like a, an initial audition process for this. Like I, I do for like most things. So the, the process for this was a little different. I, I got the script in my inbox through my agent and, um, we set up a meeting with, with Irving. I, I, I love the script. I loved everything about, um, you know, the journey he goes through and the idea of these fun landscape shots and these, you know, um, moments of action throughout the script that really like carried, carry the story along. And, um, it really, um, it just intrigued me. And I, I wanted to talk to Irving, the director and see what he, you know, what he had envisioned for, for that story. And, um, yeah, I mean, I just, I kind of just fell in love with it. So we had a meeting and, and that got me, got me really excited to do it. And from that point on, it was like a, like a fun little adventure, to be honest. It was, it was great. Yeah, I can imagine. I, I spoke with David earlier. He's talking about how this was sort of shot uh, early on in the pandemic days. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, you pulled it off. I I love the end result, and you know your character. <laughs> yeah, what was it like working with David? By the way, I mean he he's he's been around the block, and you know, <laughs> yeah, it was it was awesome. I mean, uh, working with David was was really cool. Uh, um, he he's got such a like a chill, laid back kind of energy, mm -hmm. and um, sometimes it's really nice to have people like that on set because it just calms everybody down, and it gets everybody kind of level on the on the um on set and so it was it was cool to work alongside him and to work you know opposite him and um I think some of the scenes that we have are some of my favorite scenes in the in the film I mean I think that our uh, our dynamic was really immediate and cool and and um it just felt felt really natural felt really good so it was awesome working with him and and like you said we were working in the beginning of of the pandemic and it was it was an experience to say the least um yeah. you know it was difficult for everybody at that time no matter what you were doing across what profession you were you were subject to these crazy new rules and um situations that no one had ever really dealt with before and so um you know same difference for film sets and and it was definitely a new experience for me i don't think i had filmed anything else during the pandemic at that point um so that was like the first thing i had done and so that was also you know one of the major reasons why i wanted to to jump into it so uh, it was fun to you know pull ourselves out of that sort of experience so it was a uh, it was definitely crazy but we got it done we got yeah. done yeah you definitely did uh and then you know no spoilers here but you have a pretty uh monumental scene with actor tr knight um, and yeah, I mean, if he had to write, I know you said he had some, some great scenes with David and I was wondering if that moment with TR Knight was perhaps the most challenging for you or, or maybe not, but really I was shedding a tear. So, you know, yeah, yeah. The, um, well, thank you. Thank you. I mean, the, that moment, um, 
at the end with or, or towards the end with with TR yeah. um was really cool. It was um again, again, he's a very different actor than I've worked with before. And so it was it was really cool to it's always cool to, to work alongside people who have different energy and a different way of working. And um, you know, it brings something different to the scene. And so like that scene was definitely challenging in a lot of ways. Um, especially because of how it stands out uh, across the rest of the the piece. Um, and so it was definitely different and um and challenging. It's always challenging to to jump into those like heavy emotional scenes like that. And um, you know, working across from from CR was amazing. Um yeah. and it was it's always nice to have someone you know you can um bounce things off of and work off of in that way. And um and he was he was great. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's a great moment and uh you know a great movie overall. And I know you've worked with some other great directors. Uh you know you that little movie uh Pete's Dragon. I you know that was a wonderful project and it seems like that movie sort of has franchise <laughs> potential, you know. I was curious if you'd ever welcome the opportunity to do a follow-up or just working with David Lowry in general again. Oh, David, David Lowry was an absolutely amazing director to work with. I mean, I was very young at the time too. So it was um, a very different time for me in my life, but um, yeah, it was incredible. And we filmed in New Zealand when I did Peace Dragon. So, I mean, that was in and of itself uh, such an adventure. Um, yeah. yeah. I mean, I would love to, to entertain that idea at some point and to work with David Lowry again would be amazing. And I love his style and the atmosphere of his films the way he creates his world um i think it's phenomenal and um and it's really cool and he surrounds himself with some really high quality talent um the likes of which are kind of unparalleled and so i'm i'm very excited to see what he does in the future as well yeah sure no that's great yeah me too <laughs> And uh, and also working with Spielberg, I mean, I love the the Fablemans. I was curious what it was like working with such a another iconic director, to say the least. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's not much you can say beyond that. I mean, it's it's absolutely phenomenal. I I worked with with Stephen right after doing this this small project, and um, you know, it's definitely a different scale and definitely a different um atmosphere, um, on a set like that but Steven commands his sets in such a unique way. Um, it just makes the project come to life and everyone feels the magic. And um, he's very good at making sure things happen, how they need to happen, when they need to happen. He's so experienced beyond anybody I've ever seen, to be honest. And, um, and then at the end of, at the end of it all, he's, one of the nicest people on set and he's congratulatory and he's um really thankful for all the people and all the work that they put into everything so he's um just an incredibly genuine person it was really cool to 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 work with him as well and the fablemans the entire cast was incredible all the crew were, were great so i mean it was it was definitely also an experience for sure yeah yeah i can only imagine that's awesome that um and I, it looks like you have some uh future projects in the works maybe stuff that's already been shot or <laughs> something you're working on if, if there's anything you'd like to share about i'd love to hear more yeah i mean i i uh i'm part of a an apple tv series that's going to be coming out soon uh, i don't know how much i can really talk about it right now but um i uh am very excited to see that one come out um and it'll be really really cool i think once i can finally talk about it and get it out there but um yeah no it's it's uh it's always fun and I'm I'm constantly looking for new projects and new things to work on um and and auditioning around for different stuff and um reading scripts and that's kind of you know that's the gig and I I absolutely love that and I'm very much looking forward to uh to finding my next thing yeah for sure and I know we're you know in award season I was curious if there's a particular movie you know you've seen in the past year tv show or anything that you know you've been rooting for that you you know excited that's getting recognition if anything comes to mind i mean i think i was just as shocked as probably everyone going in seeing oppenheimer yeah. i mean such an incredible cinematic piece um 
And yeah. again, some really impressive um, performances from almost the entire, I mean, the entire cast. Um, and so that was really, really awesome to see um, on a movie at, at that scale. Um, yeah. And I also just watched American Fiction the other day. Oh, yeah. Um, absolutely phenomenal movie. I love the energy. I love the style. Um, and again, the cast, it was just like these ensemble pieces with like, multiple just strong performances from from their actors and i i love that and and um it's always cool as an actor to see that um and to look up to that to be honest as, as someone at, at my age um to see people like that and i've worked with jeffrey wright in the past and um oh yeah he's an incredible incredible person again a very genuine nice guy and um i love the way he works and i love what he brings to screen. So it was, it was really cool to see that. And I'm, I'm hoping for that one as well. Yeah, me too. I, I saw that uh, American fiction back at AFI fest uh, and you know, the director was there and uh, yeah, that was a really cool experience. He's uh, seeing you in the theater and everyone was just dying of laughter, you know, throughout. <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. I'm sure. Yeah, it was great. Uh, is there a, you know, looking ahead, is there a particular, you know, filmmaker or actor that, you know, besides who you've mentioned, who you, you know, you would welcome the opportunity to work with, you know, someone you're a big fan of or. Gosh, I get this a lot, but... pretty, pretty frequently, but yeah, I mean, I truly, there's so many people I could constantly bring up and there's like every, every year we see so many more incredible pieces of, of art being made. And so, you know, I'll, I always go back to my default answer of like I I love to work with everybody and anybody who who puts something incredible in front of me I I am always game for uh for jumping into something especially something new for me that I I feel like I haven't really uh dove into um and so that's always always something I look forward to making meeting new people um and and working on on projects that that are something different something cool and yeah it's it's always amazing well it's great yeah no well said i i totally get it and <laughs> it's hard to pinpoint you know certain person and yeah there's a lot of talent out there these days so i'm excited to you know see what you do next but in the meantime congratulations on adam the first i, I thought you were you so wonderful much. 